Namaste beautiful yogis. I designed Interva Yoga as a holistic system for mind, body and heart that combines ancient spiritual yoga teachings with high intensity interval training that will get you in the best shape of your life. I have thousands of testimonies from people that have done and followed my classes for years. Come on to my website and read through them. They're extremely inspiring. On my membership, I have 400 classes and right now I'm adding a three month beginner program that can get you into the more advanced classes. I'm also a brand new mom, so I'm offering a lot of tools for new moms, how they can lose weight, get back in shape, feel positive. My membership is the best offer out there on the internet because it offers you classes for every occasion. So come on over to my website, sign up for my membership, and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste. Today we are doing vinyasa and I'm inspired to do a sadness theme today just when you feel sad or when you're contemplating the sadness of life or the sad elements of life which are just a part of life, they're an um, unavoidable part of life, it is the attitude that we choose that defines how we feel about life but sadness is nonetheless part of life just because in sadness we actually can have the opportunity to expand, um, to grow and to progress. Now, I don't know why I've been contemplating it, maybe because I have more indoor time in Texas and because I've had a lot of sadness, especially in my teenagers. I've contemplated sadness and I've, I understand the aspect of sadness really well but also I understand the aspect of life that is extremely joyous So, and that's the one I prefer to choose if I can and usually with mindfulness we can choose obviously there's times in life when we are called to experience the stages of sadness or the stages of joy etc, grief but today we're gonna do Sadness. You don't have to be sad to do this class because it will be vinyasa, but if you're sad, you can come to it as well. And let's step the feet hip width apart. I like to immediately connect to the core, that's the reason why we want to eat a little less or a completely empty stomach, I should say, before classes because it allows for more space for the lungs and the diaphragm to unfold rather than if our stomachs are full then it's a little, um, it's impossible actually to use the full capacity of the diaphragm and the lungs <coughs> roll the shoulders back and down, open the arms out and really reach to the sides smile and see sadness in your life or the theme of sadness as a wave that flows and you're just with no resistance flowing through it, seeing the waves and smiling and down. When we stop resisting things, then we can move forward. So we're seeing ourselves flowing with no resistance and with complete and full surrender. Letting everything flow and unfold. And you can start actually moving your body in a flow, wave-like motion. Feeling the waves. The waves of life. And let's take a chair. Squat all the way down, feeling your joints, round your back and reach in front of you, inhale, open the chest and come up, vibrant, exhale, now standing, rounding the back, inhale, open, bend the knees, exhale, rounding, 
inhale, open. Exhale, rounding, inhale, open. Exhale, rounding, inhale, open. And now, clasp the hands behind, arch and look up. And back to standing. Pull the belly in, engaging, engaging the belly. <coughs> From here, we're gonna bring the hands onto the knees. And as we exhale, we're gonna go for a vacuum. One more time. Take an extra breath in between. <coughs> Beautiful, and from here standing with connection to the core. We're going to point the feet out, bring the heels together, and spread your toes. Come on to the tippy toes, lower down, come on to the tippy toes, lower down, come on to the tippy toes, lower down, come on to the tippy toes, lower down. Circle with your toes, right leg circles. Back to center, circle with the left. Back to center. From here, we're going to come onto the tippy toes, take a little squat, lower down, back to feet parallel to each other, chair. Shifting the weight onto your right leg. Hold here like a bird. Step it back, high lunge. Lower the left leg down. One, two, three, four, five. You can go for the waves. Moving and just getting into the joints. Get into your shoulders. Feel them, get into the back muscles. Feel them with with fluidity. Great. Left hand on the floor, right arm up, twist, and reach over the head. Roll to the other edges of the feet, opening the hip here. And face forward now, reaching with your right hand forward, other edge of the right foot is still on the ground and you can open here the knee, let it drop to the side, flex the foot. Step onto your foot and take a big step into warrior three. Open the arms out, a few waves here, focusing on balance. Great, coming up. Bring the left ankle over the right knee, flex the left foot, left hip open. Bird stance, chair. Shifting onto the left leg, bird stance, high lunge, and we're going to lower the knee one. Two, control, squeezing, four, five, moving, getting into the back, muscles, shoulder joints, elbows, wrists, fingertips, chest even. Great, from here, right hand on the floor, twist, try not to go 
collapse on your right hand, feel your legs working here, your core working. Roll into the other edges of your feet, reaching over the head. From here, onto the toes on the right side. Stay on the, on the average of the left foot, flex the foot, let the knee drop out with the flex foot, that's important. It's a very important aspect of aligning the joints, ankle, knee. Step onto your foot, pull the belly in and come into warrior three. And you can move here with the waves, water, and bird, chair. From here, squat all the way down, sit onto your body, roll into plow, and we're gonna jump up as we roll out. Roll out into a squat and a jump. And hold the chair. Exhale, forward fold. Smile back at yourself. Seeing yourself is another witness and smiling back at yourself. And we're going to come back up and bring the right ankle on top of the left knee, flex the foot, opening the right hip. Great, chair, step onto the right leg from bird into high lunge. Drop the back knee, open the chest. This is a pose of joy and heart expansion. Coming back into high lunge, hands in prayer, twist. From here, bring your left knee behind, behind the right ankle, twist. One more twist, seated twist. And coming out of it. Standing splits, half splits. Great. Bird pose. Wrap your left leg around the right. Left arm forward, right up, cross, open, chair, bird pose, step it back, high lunge, drop the back knee, open, without trying to force joy, allowing both elements to flow through you, with the stages of life and consciousness unfolding, and awakening. Coming up, high lunge, twist in prayer. Exhaling completely, creating emptiness at the top of the exhalation. Great. From here, we're going to bring the back knee behind the left ankle and conclude this particular twist. Coming back up, hands on the ground. Standing half splits. Warrior 
three. And from here, we're going to wrap the right leg around, right hand forward, cross wrap, lift, soften. All this twisting and moving is allowing the breath to go deeper. Sometimes when we're sad, we deep, take shallow breaths. This class is about fluidity, moving, no resistance, and deeper breathing, and allowing. Great. Shift it over to the right leg. Bird. High lunge. Left hand on the floor. Twist. Roll onto the upper edges of your feet. Take a side plank, star side plank. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. See, you don't have to do down dog always to do vinyasa. There is other ways to create a sequence and move the body. Feel the body. Walk your feet between the hands, chair. Shifting onto the left leg. Again, fluidity. Step it back. Right hand on the floor, twist, the rope on the hips, star side plank, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Chair to the front of the mat. Chair. Bring your hands behind. Open. Here we're going to bring the hands in prayer. Twist to one side. Open the chest. Exhale completely. Center. Opposite side. Center. Opposite side. Take the right foot back. High lunge. With a twist, prayer twist. Prayer is the highest form of connecting of higher consciousness and creating a space within for unity. Clasping under, maybe, if you can. Step to the front and stepping on the left leg. Come up, holding your twist. Open here. Three pose release. And you can adjust your hips before you go from a twist into openings. You can come into the center. Three pose. Sliding the foot over the right knee, sit back, chair, and let's bring the left elbow into the left foot, twist again, lots of twisting today, and let's take up arm balance, and back to twist, great. Release the elbow to fold. Grab your foot into your upper arm, inner elbow. Come up, flexing the foot. Very good. Chair. Open the chest, clasping behind. Open. 
hands in prayer, chair, twist to the right side now, take the left foot back, twist, empty the lungs, create this emptiness, in emptiness there is symmetry and there is no imbalance of emotion, in nothingness, clasp under, Stepping it out slowly into plie and moving, moving, moving in the ways that your body has the movement already existing as. Great, let's move just the waist. Changeable, fluid. 
And we have free will to choose. We have unlimited possibilities, unlimited options, unlimited choices. That goes through what we experience, how we experience the universe, how we experience the world. I'm preparing you for a couple of body breath. I've been loving some quantum physics lectures and Russian and Bulgarian, so I can't recommend them to you. By a poet, professor, psychiatrist, psychologist, um, um, philosopher, and this one is so good because the cure play a little lower because he talks about something that Einstein was aware of, and it's that we're moving from proje a projection from the future is creating the present moment. It's a mind spin. You can intuit it. It's hard to, hard to understand. We our mind is bound to to linear time. So we're moving from the past to the present towards the future that's linear, but it only exists in this <laughs> in this dimension on Earth. So it actually there is strong theories, they probably be proven in the future. They are proven with some mathematical formulas that we move towards a, pro a projection from the future creates the present moment, which is an explosion. And in explosion, after explosion there is some um, there is after explosion evolution happens so we start to uh, go towards entropy after explosion creation there's entropy evolution and we go towards a black hole and the past is all entropy and the future is the projection that creates the present it's really it's really interesting to say the least and the spiritual, the spiritual aspect of it is that we can recreate the past with the present and the future. So that's a mind spin. But particles in physics, they react, they would change their past measurements according to their future measurements just to keep things um, consistent because nature wants to be consistent and coherent. So things will change the past just to be consistent with the present and the future. And that's how conscious everything around is, the universe, every particle, everything is consciousness. And there is unlimited options and possibilities and we have the free will to choose whatever we want and with our free will to create. Not just a good future, but there is a possibility to create a different past. How weird is that? How crazy, crazy is that? And that really goes with the concept of sadness. The reason why I was listening or contemplating sadness is because I listened to someone's story about how much sadness there is in their life. And I had forgotten how much sadness I had experienced before I shifted my mind. It was a shift internal. And I almost forget that it, I ever was in the same place. Because I choose nowadays not to be. It's it's something we are afraid to choose. That's beautiful. Step on the outer and the inner in, outer and inner parts of your feet. Alright. For the Balabati breath, give me all you got. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> exhale through the mouth and on the last one you really lock, lock it out the breath. The last breath will be <sighs> and hold. But we'll build up to that. So with hyperventilation there is a lot of benefits as well to the mind as well. It removes anxiety. So let's go. You inhale and you exhale forcefully. The last exhalation is real forceful. Long the breath out. Let's go. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, 
Chaturanga, down facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, drop the right hand behind and take a take an opening pose here, kind of like a little bit of a triangle element. Flex your feet. Good. Bring your hands on the outside here and stretch the right hip. Left hip flexor. Great. From here, we're going to glide the right foot a little more forward and take a wall thing, lifting the left leg off the floor. Great. Plank, Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, plank. Let's step the left foot from straightening the legs, open here. Almost like a triangle, almost. Both hands on the outside of the left foot. Experience this twist. It's really deep. From here, we're going to glide the leg forward and take a wild thing. Maybe take your right foot off the floor. Plank. Right leg off the floor. We're going to jump the left foot between the hands. Come up, jump. Plank. Push up with one leg. Jump. Tuck jump. Plank, push up. That's three, four. Push up and five. Push up. From here, we're gonna do five mini jumps. Left foot to the front and back. So one. Two, three, four, and five, and from here, take your right knee between the elbows. One, two, three, four, five, to the right elbow. One, two, three, four, five, left elbow. One, two, three. Four, five, step it down and take the left leg up. Jump into, jump up. One, push up. Keep going, two push ups. Jump, tuck. Three, push ups. Four, Push-ups, five push-ups, five jumps, one, one leg jumps, two, three, four, and five, and we're going to do one, knee tuck, two, three, four, five, to the left elbow, one, Two, three, four, five, across one, two, three, four, five. I want you to grab a, to take a tabletop and let's jump up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down to bridge. Shimmy, shimmy, bridge. Wheel. Lower 
down spine twist. Opposite side. Namaste. 